Hey, it's Olivia from That Vegan Jewel and Welfare, and today I've got a surprise for you. Guess what we're doing? We got the crock pot, a little cutting board, make tacos no more, a little pie knife, and a whole bag of produce left over from what I cooked for Rosh Hashanah. We're going to be making broth, veggie broth. Yes, you could stick it straight to the compost pile, but first we're gonna make a delicious broth that you can freeze, make soups with, it's gonna be fun. What do I got in here? A little bit of kosher salt, the leftover coconut oil, got some leeks, half a beet, it's gonna turn it a fun Halloween red color for children, nieces, nephews, I love it. Carrots. Always have left of carrots. An onion. Another leek. I made a really great leek soup. Still have lots of leeks. A lemon. Leftover salad. of the half of the squash and a almost mushy completely tomato. Some people like fresh produce for their for their broths, but we're into reduce, reuse, recycle over here. So we produce our waste, we reuse what we can, and we throw it in the compost or the recycling bin. We're going to take the top off this. This is good to do in the morning. Some people leave it overnight. Uh, their broths, their soups, their colant. I'm terrified of it burning down my place. I don't have renter's insurance. I can tell the landlord. So what you're going to do is you're going to, some of these things need to be cut up so that the water can... Let me finish that sentence. So the water can absorb all the nutrients and put them in the broth. If you see on normal store broths, they have things like onions, maybe a tomato if it's a high quality broth, um, maybe some lettuce, carrots. That's so why it's really good to make a broth at home. You can have more nutrients in it. You can control what's in there. It's a leak. For those of you that don't know what a leek is, it kind of tastes like an onion, but I think it's actually like an onion. You don't want your lemon. Trust me, it makes the broth better. We're just going to cut one of them in half and throw it in, we'll be juicing the other one, so maybe if you want to cut the, the half and a half. So you have a half and two quarters. Uh, let's sprinkle the salad in. Let's break the carrots. The good nutrients. Fun fact, one time I tried to eat a bunch of carrots to fix my eyesight. Nope, still need laser. But it will keep your eyesight from getting worse. Uh, this will, if you don't like broth that's a color, like red, don't put the beer. Don't make it red. And we actually made a pink risotto one time. Terrible idea. <coughs> it tasted delicious. But it was just such a mushy pink color. But this is good for, it actually lends some, some flavor to it. It's good if you like to drink broth stand alone. It's kind of good for some things. We're going to save this and use it for a recipe. So stay tuned for that. It won't be regular. Of course, you're going to peel your onion, but I already did. Now 
we got the lemon. Just gonna juice it on top. We're gonna take our leftover coconut oil. You might have more. I usually use um, about three or four tablespoons. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to get that out of this today. tablespoons. This is really great if you like to control your oil intake and also your sodium intake. You can put as much oil as you like if you're an oily loving person like I am. Then you can actually put more oil, more salt, less salt. I actually need less salt. So this is a really great thing for me to have learned this little trick of making homemade broth. Okay, you're going to use about a teaspoon. The, this whole project is sort of an eyeballing, put what you want in there. So I use about that much. You might use more, you might use less, you could use none at all. Whatever you want. I've actually made delicious broths with uh, no sodium. So there's that. Oh, the water! That's what we need. I'm going to want to be using um, filtered water. It makes the taste better. It, you know, it doesn't have all the, the lime scale or the toxins. It probably still has some toxins, but it doesn't have that. So we use filtered water for our broth. Delicious nectar from the gods. We're going to put the top on. I don't know if you have the same crock pot as I do. Everybody's is different. Um, some people use the Instapot. I haven't learned how to use that yet. On mine, there's four settings. I put it on the next to the lowest one. If I put it on high, it tends to cook the vegetables long before I feel the nutrients are in, infused into the, into the water. Basically, making broth is like making vegetable tea. You want it to see, steep longer to get the full effects of the nutrients. So you're going to keep this... On. We're not going to do the whole video with watch it cook while I do a dance. Um, we're going to just end it like this. Um, cook it for about five to eight hours. Um, eight hours is best. That's what I would do. Um, if this will freeze for up to six months, do not put it in glass in the freezer. It will explode. Already tried that. Uh, don't tell your kid about that. They will try it. And actually, I didn't get hurt when that happened. Um, but... It happened. It was a big cleanup. Um, so Tupperware all the way, not glass Tupperware, just plastic, plastic Tupperware. Um, if you're worried about the BPA leaching out, you shouldn't have bought the cheap Tupperware in the first place. You can wait till it cools and then put it in the freezer. Uh, it'll stay good in the refrigerator for about a week. I have used it an embarrassing long amount of time afterwards, and I didn't get sick, but I had my hair stuck. So I would use it within a week. Okay, well, like, subscribe, check out the website. We are going to be doing October fun starting next week. So I'm excited. It's actually my dog's birthday, so I'm extra excited. But I'm excited for October on all the fun things I'm going to bring to you. Bye.